So today, we're going over another long shot game, as you might have realized. We will be switching games in um, December. We'll go over a different game, different uh, Go Master. Who we are going over, I have not completely decided yet, so stay tuned, I guess. But as per usual, we start off with the diagonals with white going first. White approaches the 4-4 point. I have learned from these games that there is an interesting, rather standard opening. Like, you can predict the next move, like, from the opening. Nowadays, for example, nowadays, for example, if we had this opening, we're like, okay, we're probably going to get an enclosure or an extension, right? Because we're going to approach from the widest side, and now that we're going to like develop something in here, or we're going to go into like an orthodox, that's what we're going to do, right? Way back in the day, though, once we approach the 4-4, we encounter something f different. Different. They don't usually enclose right away. They usually wind up approaching. So in the opening here, the approach usually begets an approach. And the approach often begets an approach. So these games kind of are fine-tuned towards being aggressive. Yeah? Here we see black back off, and we don't back off with a large, a small knight because that simply wasn't done back in the day. They were very much fans of the large knight. So we see that instead. Now, I have yet to see anyone back off into a fort, into a uh, star point like this. But this was very common. The attachment onto the initial uh, approaching stone. I mean, the idea there is pretty straightforward. We're going to try to hopefully get a wall, and then maybe go back and play something like that. It never leads into that, of course. Would Black's movie considered bad today? Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you would consider it bad, but we don't do it, because it's actually completely fine to actually hit the 3-3, three, three, like immediately, when black backs off into a uh, large knight now. So it's definitely questionable, but... I would say definitely as amateurs, it was it would still be playable. Not sure if you would play it in professional go. I would be surprised if you saw it. The amount of Aji that you're leaving behind is um, quite big. Quite big. Hello, it's too early. So all right, we have the attachment, which means black has to respond, like so. And then white's going to respond as well, because that just makes sense. And now, because I had gone over a couple of these games before, I was developing expectations. When, for example, if you might remember from our last game, Black pushed up here, we saw his opponent counter by playing here, right? We saw the opponent try to counter by taking away the extension, which led to Black getting rather uh, creative in his defense. In this game, however, black plays here, and white actually completes the Jiseki. This is, this is regarded as a bit slow nowadays, especially since after black's next move, like so, we can see that we have a bit of a base here now for black, a bit of a pincer on the one stone as well. 
Now I will take a moment to point out, or to reveal I should say to everyone, that the reason why I picked this game is because it's aggressive. It's more aggressive than uh, some of the other ones that I've gone over. Though you would never be able to tell it from the board right now. But alright, White has Sente. Uh, from here I had expectations of maybe the double approach or dumb expectations. I expected this because something that you might see. I thought maybe this, but that's something you would see if you were like, I don't know, 5 to 10 Q. Probably not that move. A little over concentrated on top of the board. Move like this right now says, you know what? I would like you to do whatever you want, Black, because you have Sente, and I respect you as a person. And that respect, I'm going to give you the choice to do whatever you want. But White's like, no, I'm going to approach your corner. Guess the idea here being is we're going to hope that we get a kind of defense in here. And then maybe we can take another large move or something. Black instead decides, I'm going to approach instead. So they just keep approaching each other and getting into fights, which is good. That's what I wanted to go over, something a little bit more aggressive. Right, so from here I thought simple move. We're just going to pincer. It strengthens our stone, right? It would also give us sente. If we block this way, right? We'll block this way, take sente, and then maybe hit the 3-3. Three, three. That's what I was imagining. I was, expecting, I was expecting this. I'm an idiot. That's not what we play. Instead, white decides to jump out. Now that is something you would never see today. Never, ever, 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 I don't care who you are. You would never see the jump out. What is the jump out doing? There's even a base here already. Very strange move. Large knight taken again. We would probably, once again, we probably see the small knight or maybe uh, the high today. But all right, large knight again. It was just the standard thing to do. Once again, I want to apologize for the kids that are clearly screaming on the other side of the window. I may have to change these. To doing them at night, growl. But alright. We have an approach. It looks kind of severe, so I would assume time to defend or time to come up and separate. Again, that would be wrong. Black attacks topside. I guess I just didn't view this as a very... Um, Yeah, they didn't really view this as a very severe move, I guess. Because he'd rather uh, ensure that white can't back off into getting the large point here, I guess. Over defending himself, despite the fact that such a defense would technically keep these separated. I don't know. A very odd era of go they were in. White jumps out again. And again, it's quite different. We don't usually just jump out when we're pincered. Nowadays, we'd be attaching here, right? We'd expect a Hane of some kind. And then we would probably Hane in return. And choose to settle that way, right? Very unusual that they uh, chose to jump out a lot when pincered. Nowadays, we try to settle a little bit faster. Bat a one move behind I miss something, but I miss. You know that white went first, right? Yeah, white white goes first in these old games. 
We start off with four four diagonals already on the board with white moving first. That is how Go was played back in the 1600s, I want to say. This is, this is how Go was played in China back in the 1600s. So all right, white jumps out. Black follows suit to keep pressure on the, on the two stones. How old is this game? If I lean forward, I see a date, 1640. But I can't be sure, because a lot of these games are of the same year. So I'm not really sure if they have the exact year correct. Anywho. So black jumps out. I have so much editing to do later. <laughs> black jumps out. White repincers. And you can kind of see that we're slowly getting into a very aggressive game. Very, very, very aggressive game. However, I was pleasantly surprised to see my favorite shape. I was very surprised to see my favorite shape. Do you know what my favorite shape is to play here? You all know it. It is the move that we constantly say that cues are not uh, confident of playing. What's that move? What is the move that a lot of cues here are not comfortable playing? I mean, if you said the cap, you are correct. Because this defends against going underneath. Going under does not work anymore. If we were to try to go under now, what we find uh, is that though we would like to play this out, we can't because there's a capture here, right? We have to defend this. I mean, sure, we can Atari once. We could Atari once and take, but then we have to defend the two stones, yeah? And then the question is, what happens to this cutting stone? Or the two cutting stones that we have there? We could, like, play the Hane? We can link up over here. Not all that great, huh? So this is a fairly nice defense against underneath. It also applies pressure, which is really cool. But a lot of cues are like, right? It is an obvious shape point. However, after you connect, you should be aware that this is also a very obvious shape point to keep control of the two diagonal stones. Again, after you connect. All right. So white plays here. He's trying to keep this weak. Black's not having it. And immediately to connecting for shape. White pokes for similar reasons. Trying to strengthen his stones. Going to connect on up. Black gets to become a lot stronger now. White connects. Black defends his corner. White responds to keep white keep black from connecting up underneath. Before going back and trying to um, unsettle black again. So this is an interesting sequence. We can see the use of forcing moves over here, right? We can see the attempted use of forcing moves here that allow us to have forcing moves here later. And in exchange for this influence, we're really trying to assault these white, these uh, black stones. 
So we can see the idea here. Black defends. White connects. Black turns, allowing white to extend. So now, it seems like the plan isn't going too badly, right? Whoa, sorry, I must have bumped the stuns at some point. So the plan so far isn't going too badly. We have the influence, right? And Sente. We even have Sente. Oh, black does anyway. If white had Sente, we'd be in serious trouble. So now we can try to save ourselves. But he does it again by jumping out. Which is bizarre, because jumping out here would be inconceivable right now. Completely inconceivable. It's like, what is that jump out ever going to do? You can see why it's a bit aggressive. He's trying to remove the Aji. What about P3 first for black? What's P3? P3 is the cold light no. Your question was, what about this first? I'm going to assume before these two. Hmm. I'm not sure what that would do. Because you probably just connect that, right? I'm not sure where you're really going after that. Alright, so there's a jump out. White defends, because he wants to attack black. Black's like, I'm going to defend by poking your shape, because that's what black's known for. The one thing black is known for is his shape, and his ability to make his opponents have very, very questionable shape. So we can see here what he's going for. He is offering up a trade. White plays the Hane, says, I'm going to kill your two stones. Black says, yeah, that was kind of the point. I'm going to go through. So, from this position, he felt confident that he could leave his position because of the Aji of that small knight. It's like, well, I can just sacrifice it. No problems whatsoever. Whoops. Sorry, not a black stone yet. There we go. So we connect. And connect. Attempt to poke at the shape. Control its liberties. White Atari. And black connect. And white Atari. And black connects. And white Atari. Forcing black to take. Um, yes. 
and white Atari. Forcing black to connect again. And then finally, white connects. So he was able to defend against black connecting. We can see what uh, we can see that he was able to defend against black connecting, but there's still a lot of Aji remaining in these little old stones, right? So we Atari, which forces our opponent to connect. And Atari, which forces an extension. And now here's where cool things start happening. Here's where cool things start happening. Black connects, forcing these group, this group here to defend itself. So that group says, I'm going to play here and see about capturing the top stones. And black says, I don't care because I have profit ready here. This in exchange for this would be a really good exchange. Black, white freaks out and says, no, those stones are not going to die. Not possible. Black leans on the cornerstone to try to get Sente uh, to defend himself. White ignores because he's not going to be distracted by what's going on over here. He wants uh, this area to live. So black gets to follow up. White defends himself, thus once again putting this area in danger. But once again it comes down to shape. And we lean on the group for shape. Goes underneath, responds in kind. Now we have to fight for what we were trying to take. So we connect, and we connect, and we push, and we push, and we push. But rather than sacrifice, and this is I thought he was going to do, he plays here, and the reason why he's playing here is because this is still a thing, right? That move is still a thing. So there's a very delicate balance going on in this fight right now, where black has a group to look after. Not really two. Not really two, because we can come out this way. We can go under. And we can capture, right? There's a, lot, there's a lot of different things that we can do with this group. So it's really this group that's weak. And these two white groups that are weak. Those stones are kind of MIA right now. So white does the, import, it does the intelligent thing. He says, you know what? I need to make certain that this group is not ever coming out. Otherwise... That's a complete collapse. Like, you can't keep working against this group here and getting more stones in the center and expect that to not be dead, right? So we play there. Black says, you're not coming out anymore. White gives it his best shot. On at the head. Time to defend. Poke, poke, poke. I think we connect, right? 
No, we don't. Okay, my bad. Trying to break connection. I think if G9 can live, then B is fine. G9, G9, G9. Oh, a center group? Oh yeah, this group is going to be fine. This group for black is going to be completely okay. And we got the Hane. And then we've got this. Make sure it can't us. Black gets to Atari, or white gets to Atari. We are connecting that, right? Yes, we are. And last but not least, a nice solid connection. Now we can get one eye here, right? But throughout this uh, process of trying to attack black stones over here, which look like they're in a lot of trouble, which look like they're in a lot of trouble, there is still this shape point that's really, really close to a cutting point. So we're in com we're completely okay still because we had that mei. We could have taken that one stone. Or we can come out still. So he's absolutely confident about his shape. It's going to go ahead and extend, threaten to cut. And now the attack is back on this group because this group is now out. Does this threaten double Atari? Absolutely. Do we care? Nope. We just come out again because once more, we've got two groups that are trying to run. And what black only really has the one. So all of this attack, right? Black is always ensuring that he has a friend that he's running with. Like he's not the only one in trouble. There's always other things. First it was just those two, now it's these two, but this is pretty well settled. This isn't, uh, almost is, almost is. But once again we've got two groups for white. Attaches. Plays a Hane. Go back to defending both groups at once. Takes opportunity to remove Aji in the corner. White extends. Black does likewise. And now we're going to try to get that attack back on our opponent, right? Now what's coming up is really, really cool. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. There we go. So what's coming up is really, really cool. Black attaches. And white says... I am going to cut through you. Black says that's fine. There ain't no problems here. And now you lose me on this next move. I would not have played it. I would have played something worse because I'm bad. Black connects for extra liberties. And that is the key to like this entire next sequence. The key to the entire next sequence starts here. 
Because the attach means we have to uh, extend out, right? Which means this Atari is also a threat to connect. So we have that there. This looked suspiciously like a time suji. Going ahead in the Hane. Black tries to not be dead. Now you can see our eyes forming. And going back and killing. Now the reason why that is interesting is because with these three liberties here, we can't possibly hope to deny... Um, yeah, we can't possibly hope to deny uh, black, right? We can't go poking around here when that, that poking would lose us our liberties. I would have no idea how they handled time back then. The 1600s were a little bit before my time. So we connect and connect and harass no problem connecting up <coughs> connecting up because again we have uh, we're in a capture race right that's Atari that connects, and it looks like now uh, black is completely live in the middle. So the question is, what's going to happen here? Because this, this is a, a huge corner, potentially, right? This is a huge corner. Um, wait, whose move is it? It's white's. It's white's move, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we play here, because we're starting to cut through, right? Then we're going to drop down. Saves the cutting stone. At worst, this would be Seki. White moves to use all of his influence to attack. All of this influence here is going to be used against that group. Because this one's not looking, this one here is not looking too healthy. It's looking like this is all dead because we have an eye here, don't forget. We're out and we have an eye. Only if we could actually connect this while still cutting this would this even be maybe Seki. Well, okay, it would obviously be Seki. But since we have both of them, we have at the very least one eye versus no eye, or we're simply going to be out and that's going to be dead. So we need a profit here for white in order to make this kind of like be equal, right? Black starts by enlarging his base. Basic life and death, right? Before dropping down. turns, which begets this, because now we're kind of being surrounded, right? So we need to make sure it's like the one eye versus the none. Poke. Connect. Now it's starting to look a little bit dangerous, right?
Looking a little bit dangerous now. Looking a little bit dangerous now. But check out this next sequence. White and black pushes. White tries to break. You see where this is going? You see where this is going? Oh, shut up. I didn't say anything to you, you moron. Did you guys just hear what happened? Siri just thought I was... Mm. The thing that should not be named just thought I was talking to it. Did you hear that on stream? It's like, I found some information. I don't even know what they found, what it found information for. But it pulled up Wikipedia. Uh, anyway, so you, you can, you're slowly starting to smell where this is going. You're slowly starting to smell where this is going, right? This game is friggin' amazing. This game, this game is so amazing that, you know, even Siri looked it up. Ryotari. And connect. Kill off the stones. The connection is sente because of that. One moment, please. Do 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 la 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 Wow, we are like really at the edge of the board today. I'm sorry, you can't get those captures on on stream. Uh, is it possible? A uh, little bit, maybe? Not really. The attempt just messes everything up. Sorry. I'll put them here. Yeah, something like that. Let me go back and connect. We have to reduce the liberties or be uh, not alive. Before finally going back and playing here. At this point, At this point, I would resign. I would flat out resign. I'm, oh my god. This used to be white influence, right? All of this used to be influence for white. All of it. But this freaking sacrifice was amazing and it lined up perfectly with the liberties that were shy here. Which lines up perfectly with cutting this group off. Long show was amazing. Connects like okay, where are you? Where's your eyes? All right, we poke. Strengthen ourselves. Divide and conquer. Because both of these areas need to live. Again. The theory of two. It's like always have two things going on. Right? Always have those two things going on. White's like, I'm going to live here. Blacks like prove it.
Unfortunately, there is a lot of Aji here because they're so in favor of the large knights. It's regrettable, but it's true. So I was like, okay, you can have my corner, I'll have the outside. White says no deal. If we're not going to have a deal, then we're going to go and play here. White says that's fine, I can make liberties here. And again, you see like the extra lingering Aji behind as a result of the large knight. Like if this was already right there for the small knight, very different game, right? Oops, instead we've got this into the Atari, into going under, into Atari. Obviously, we're going to connect, otherwise, that's going to kill everything, so our only hope is to play here which forces the capture on these stones. White connects. Black does likewise, I think. Yes. Can we Atari our way to freedom? Not really, because we did the poke. This is an instance where the poke is actually really, really friggin' good. Because it's nicely defended immediately. Push through. There are now liberty shortages. We get to connect. And we also get to cut. Ensuring this is, absol is, uh, is just absolutely dead. Nowhere to really go after all of this. The cut works over uh, here. Tries to defend it. Black says no joy. This is not going to be a straight liberty race. So he's throwing in to get rid of liberties. And the minute white has to capture that, we get to go back and play here. Could have offered the exchange, I guess. Try to kill off these, but give up those. But after this side, white's kind of committed, even with uh, the top stones. For since this is a little under, uh, uncertain still. Defend. Undercuts. Gets taken. Trying to remove all of the liberties he possibly can. Getting an eye for himself in the process, which is nice. Same thing here, having to connect. Drops down. Denies connection. And at this point, at this point, there is very little that we can do here. Because we, ha we have a beginnings of an eye here, which is nice. Just nice. Not completely live yet, though. And it would appear this doesn't really go anywhere. This doesn't really go anywhere. So, uh, White resigns. Because what are you going to do? Where are you possibly going to play? Are you going to play the outside Liberty? Are you going to a Liberty race? Are you going to a Liberty race? Guess we could. Might want to be careful about that, though.
Yeah, time to play again. I don't think there's anything to play again. Actually, wait a minute. We could avoid that one, can't we? No, wait, we should play that one. Um, which one can we avoid? Crap, what order did I just play these moves in? This one is what one we just played, right? We could actually play that one. Oops, sorry. We could actually play that one first if we really wanted to be. If, we've, if we were really feeling aggressive, I guess we could play that one first. Is that too aggressive, do you think? That's probably too aggressive, isn't it? Yeah, we probably wouldn't play it. We probably wouldn't go for the cow. We probably wouldn't go for the cow. So we would do that, and then probably just play here. And at that point, I guess we're going to play this. That seems troubling, though. I mean, it looks like we're just gonna die if we get Seki here and Gote. That looks like that's gonna die. Now we could avoid death, of course, by um... how do we avoid death? Is it possible to avoid death? Yeah, don't take this liberty away, and instead, like, drop down here. But then we get those two in the exchange, and then we play here. But the downside of that is that we are now Liberty behind in this race. So we can't play away? I think if we play away, then we're toast. No, it's not, sorry. So you get the idea. Either we spend a move, get rid of Liberty on this group, so this is Seki, or we Seki this in Gote and allow Black to like come mm, to come back in here. But there's like no real way of living here, right? So yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun in a long shot game. Does Bat have another game or only this one? Well, technically, 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 I've got every long shot game here now. So technically if you wanted to, we could go over another one. So it opens up pretty normal as we are like to go over with the approach on the upper left and I'm going to anticipate here. I don't know what's happening next. I'm anticipating this move. Oh, got it wrong. Close. I, I get half credit for that, right? It's on this side. It's not really a pincer. It's more of the approach, but I had the position wrong. So this is like partial credit. Long shot double approach. And this game was played, I don't know, in the 9 and 16. Blah, 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 blah. All right, double approach into the attachment. Didn't see that one coming. Oh my god, we're actually committing to one corner of the board? We are. Alright. We are heavily committing to one corner of the board. Um, I would imagine, what I know about these players, we are not going to just, like, go into the corner 
and like give this kind of exchange up? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. I bet we're, I bet we're playing the Hane here. We're fighting it, right? We are fighting it. And then we're going down. And then we're probably playing here. Yep. Thank you for the follow, everyone. All right, black follows. Um, Atari, right? Yep. Followed by the connection, I assume, yes. And the defense. Well, that's probably not the influential area that Black was hoping for. I'm going, I'm going to go on a limb and say that uh, this is not the area he was looking for. All right. Uh, Black's move, sorry. So Black has to not be dead, so we have to take the corner for ourselves. Which means I guess we're going to do this. Followed by that. Making certain that we're nice and living here. This is such a terrible result for black. This result sucks. Yeah, this is not a variation that you ever want to play in your games, guys. I am not a fan of this move. If it leads to the attachment and what we're seeing here. This is... This is, this is bad. Alright, so, whoops. Alright, so we approach. No way, I thought the kick here would... Okay, nowadays we would kick this without even thinking about it. Steady attacks. Jump up again. Wowzers into the large knight because they have never heard of a small knight. They probably think it's too slow. They probably think that small knight is way too slow to respond to. Large knight into the approach. We've seen this last time too. And then approach into approach. I should do this in one of my games. I should do this in one of my games. On Foxy or somewhere. I should just play this like weird style and see what, see how it see how it goes. I'm saying this. Oh uh, no, they're not, are they? Oops. Sorry. Um. Uh -huh. White is Longshaw and Black is someone else. There we go. So we go there. Into a pro or into a uh, large knight. <laughs> into approach, the large knight. Oh my God! Into approach. What is going on in this game? Okay. So we had like large knight into approach, into approach, into a large knight, into approach, into approach. Oh, what is going on? All right, now we have a kick. Oh, okay, finally we have we kick something. Black extends. Pincers. Wow jumps out here? Are you kidding? That, 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 that's, uh, that's ambitious. Don't we just cut through that? Yeah. We're just gonna kind of threaten to kill it? Okay, tries to lean, but this has already got a base. What do we do now? Extend up? Okay. Now you got good shape for white. Whoa, don't even try to separate it. 
Interesting. He's fixing his shapes again. That long shot. He's always worried about his shapes. Oh, I see what he's doing. Never mind. He's being clever. He's pushing... He's inviting Black to try to keep him separated. So he gets stronger with the attempt at uh, the whole separation thing. Oh, okay, that was cute. It's like, I'm gonna connect. No, you're not. I'm going to not let you. It's like, oh, really? But if I'm gonna honey here, I'm going to connect again. It's like, well, no, you're not. I'm going to not let you. It's like, gee, hee, 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 Thanks for not letting me. Completely distracted. Bamboozled. Black's like, I am not letting that connect either. But once again, we've got the two. Longsha, holy shit. Seriously, dude. We've got two. Again, same as last same as last game. We've got, like, we're inviting the two groups. Right? Because this group is fine, and this group is fine, and that group is fine. So it's just these two groups for black, and, like, what? That group for white that already has an eye? It's like, look at me. I'm going to cut you. Oh my god, he really is. Yeah, I guess he's got good shape. If you got good shape, do whatever you want. If you're in... Oh, wow. How's that for a message for you, ladies and gentlemen? The moral of these games are, if you're in good shape, the world's your oyster. But, but if you're just not fit... I mean, at the, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be sadness. Thank you for the follow. I can't read that. I'm gonna go and call you Mr. Squirrel. Did one person play twice? No, we have the Hane. And then the cut again. A daddy. Don't give it up. Threatens to take. Um, where now? Where now? Where now? Like, if I was being aggressive, I would consider here. But I'm also tempted to kind of like go and play here and then sacrifice so I can get this move in to kind of give this some more shape before going back and playing that, but I don't really know. Nope, where's the Atari? Alright, I'm a moron. And then black's got Atari, a radio. That threatens to cut. Now what are we doing? Uh, now we're extending. Okay. So we're going to absolutely do that, right? Yes, it is. Okay. And then we turn. All right. What now? What for white? What for white? Um, hmm. Because we have to respond because the push block pain. But we're not going to play here because that's that gives a bad shape. Are we just going to connect? Here? Nope. Dang it. Okay, we'll connect there. So we extend, and I guess we can extend again, right? I'm getting a little bit worried for black stones, or for white stones, sorry. Are we just gonna, are we just gonna give them up? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bye bye stones. That's like a better result for black than white. No, I lied. No, 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 no. I'm lying completely. It looks like a better result, but then we're going to play here, right? No, we're going to play here? No, here. Which one do we play? If we play this one, there are two liberties on that group. But if we play here, it's more solid. If we play here, there's the push through. Okay, if we play here, 
there's the push through, and then there's like the cuts, right? So we're gonna play here. Yeah, we're gonna play here. Good, uh, I like that. So we tarry that. So we've traded those stones for these stones. We got the Atari now. Now what do we do? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what we do next. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh. Wow. Absolute solidity. Black's like, can I have Aji in here? And white says, go fish. Just got kicked. Hello, Bradakeen. We are going over a game from the 1600s that Longshot played. I hope you know who Longshot is. Alright, trying to put pressure on here. We can get a base now, right? Or not. Did not see that one coming at all. I would have assumed, like, here now to get a base. I would not have assumed this. Leaning on this group to attack the pincer? This is aggressive. Why not D15 instead of F15? What is D15? D15, D15. Oh, okay, so your, your question is why not this instead? Well, that is a pretty good question. I'm guessing he's concerned that there's Aji here still, and then there'd be Aji here as well. So this kind of gives more shape to black. But if we play here, then there's no real hope. Because this group is fine, the corner's not gonna die. This is not an eye. But all right, we're attaching. Now what, Black? Where are we going next? Take me on a journey. Still poking. Are we going to push and cut? We're blocking, right? Yes, okay. We are blocking. We are playing the Atari. We have to extend. Yes. Black is in danger of dying right now. So black comes out. But then if black came out, he didn't save his stone. He didn't take the stone, sorry. So he extends. Okay. Oh, seriously? No, yeah, okay, because there's a cutting point there. All right, I'll buy it, sure. Uh, that looks dangerous, because if we drop down, there's the push in the... The push and the cut, right? All right, all right, all right. So we connect. Which leads into the connection. Rip corner. Long shot is going off. Now he's attaching to here, strengthen his group up and put pressure on the two stone. Hmm. 
Alright. Fence cutting point. Hmm. You know what occurs to me? It's occurring to me that that is a thing that's going to be existing. I think you have to watch for that. So we're attaching. Black plays the honey. White is super aggressive. My god. Black tries to Atari out. Cuts him off. Cakes. I don't think that's worth 30 points now, but okay, whatever. And connects. That's a lot of territory. That is a lot of territory. Yes, it still didn't work there, but it was getting really, really close the more this was fighting, which is why I said that we're probably going to be seeing something like that in the future. But with this being sacrificed, probably not after all. Black's now going after the center, I guess? He is. Look at him. See how he's trying to cut this off? He's trying to cut off all the three stone. Whoa. Yeah, here we go again. He's willingly giving up a group, or a, gr a uh, stone, rather. Right? He takes that. Black gets a larger corner as a result. But what about that center? White plays the Atari. Now he's alive. Now he's alive and connected. You know what? He's alive, connected, and I wonder if we can get away with something like this. This into, like, here now? Or here. No. Yeah, this into here is what I'd wonder. Maybe save the stones? I mean, it seems legit, right? If black takes that, this poke is sente into the attachment? Yeah, maybe, that, maybe that's coming up next. Um, oh. 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 So there actually are no more moves in this game. Uh, black resigns. Which admittedly makes sense. I mean, this corner is insanely large. That's fourth line territory. And as we just pointed out, it looks like we need like a move right here now. So that's also Sente for white. Okay. I can understand that. I can understand that. 